survive her timeline confession? Yes or no? Tamara, what do you think? No. You think no. What do you think? No. Do you think he's furious at her about this? Well, Adding further context, at the Vanderpump Rules reunion, Andy Cohen clarified his speculative remarks regarding Rachel Levis being really medicated given her continued treatment at a mental health facility. I believe that my speculation on that may have been incorrect. On the Tuesday, June 13, edition of Sirius M's Radio Andy, the 55-year-old Bravo executive producer said, But to me, she sat there and she took it all on the chin like a champ. She simply sat there and took it from all of those folks who had things to say to her and were persistent. Andy stated, I didn't know if she would be able to get through the reunion, which is probably why I hypothesized that but I, I felt like Raquel's lack of emotion was a symptom of something greater. My years of experience in these forums would have led me to believe that she would have left much sooner and possibly gotten into her car to disappear forever. When the host broke down the Vanderpump Rules Season 10 reunion in a video with Variety earlier this month, his early remarks regarding Raquel generated a lot of buzz. Before the reunion, I was concerned for Raquel's mental health. I'm still... I mean, on Wednesday, June 7, he said, But frankly, when I saw how emotionless she was, it made me think she was either medicated or really out of touch with her role in things. Raquel, 28, on the other hand, has generally kept quiet about what happened after her affair with Tom Sandoval. News of Sandoval and Ariana Maddox breakup due to his adultery first surfaced in March. Raquel joined a voluntary inpatient behavioral health and trauma facility after the reunion filming was finished and she has been there for 68 days as of this writing, an insider exclusively told us. With the hope of making better decisions and improving as a person, her treatment is assisting her in learning the rationale behind her decisions and growing from her mistakes. The insider continued, She is a young woman who has been remorseful for her actions and has repeatedly apologized. Raquel was apologetic for her cheating scandal with Sandoval, 40. When Raquel comes out, she looks forward to telling her tale honestly. While Raquel's status on the show is still up in the question, other Vanderpump Rules actors like Layla Kent and Ariana, 37, have opened up about how the reunion episodes affected their opinions of the drama. The Give Them Layla author, 32, said to TMZ on June 8 that in the moment during the reunion, after I left, I felt dirty, referring to the negative feedback from the public about her acrimonious exchanges with Raquel at the reunion. When a cameraman questioned the something about her co-founder about whether her sentiments towards Raquel had changed, she responded with a touch of empathy. Sure, yeah. Andy discussed the decision to have Raquel leave the reunion on her own during his radio show on Tuesday. I don't regret it, no. I wasn't sure how long Raquel would be on set, so that was one of the reasons I really wanted to do one-on-ones with her, Tom, and Ariana, he said. She endured everything, regardless of what she did or did not do, and really took it all in. The Watch, What Happens Live presenter added that several of the questions he posed at the reunion weren't included in the episode. I asked Ariana about it, as well as Raquel one-on-one, -on -one, while we were all there. 